If you ever find yourself in the city of Copenhagen, capital of Denmark, with more than a few hours to spare, there is no shortage of things to see and experience to pass the time. It takes only about 15 minutes by either train or metro from the Copenhagen airport to the Copenhagen Central Station, it's the gateway to all the public transportation. It is also walking distance to many of the city's top attractions. Daniel D. Kov, a local artist and native of Denmark, shared his favorite places to visit in Copenhagen. I lived here in Copenhagen all my life, so yeah, I recommend tourists to visit. It would definitely be Tivoli Amusement Park. It's so beautiful, atmospheric, like local, and like, you know, authentic Danish. At the same time, very multicultural, so I definitely recommend that place. And in 1843, it is the world's second oldest amusement park. The Tivoli Gardens is said to have inspired fairy tale writer Hans Christian Andersen and Mickey Mouse creator and Disneyland founder, Walt Disney. Across the road is the Copenhagen City Hall, a building that exudes the features of the national romantic style. In front of the City Hall is the Rausplatten or the City Hall Square, a significant public gathering area where key events and demonstrations are held. The City Hall Square is also the starting point of Stroll, the 1.1 kilometer stretch one of the longest pedestrian streets in Europe. Stroll is most famous for shopping. The Round Tower. Considered to be one of the most iconic buildings in Copenhagen, the Round Tower was built in the early 17th century. There is no elevator, so you will need to walk up the wide spiral steep stairs to get to the observatory at the top of the tower. A 360 degree view of the city. Copenhagen is home to one of the oldest monarchies. Here you can find castles and palaces, one of which is the Christian Sport Palace, a breathtaking experience of walking in the footsteps of royalty. I would recommend Nuhau because it's just so amazing, beautiful, like perfect like, for restaurants and in cafes. Nihon or New Harbor, this waterfront, canal, and entertainment district offers history, culture, charm, and canal tours. Another great way to see the city from a different perspective through its waterways. Copenhagen is a bike-friendly city, but also for tourists, with rental bikes being very accessible. But almost, almost the same mandatory thing would be The Little Mermaid because of its history, because of the book, you know, it's, it doesn't get more Danish and classic than that, so it definitely say The Little Mermaid as well. There is so much more to see and experience in Copenhagen, but I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of the city. In Copenhagen, Denmark, I'm Anita Manawes for Eagle News. We live in extraordinary times.